Hi, welcome to another exciting edition of Ion Travel. My name's Tim Allen, your show host. We got a fun show for you today. You don't want to go anywhere. We're in beautiful Napa, California. We're going to check out this awesome travel destination. We're going to bring you all the information we can in a half hour show to get you to come here and visit with your family, with your friends, significant other. You're going to have a blast. We're also going to check out the wine train, which is the thing to do when you're in town. Awesome. We're going to have a lot of fun today. We're currently now opening the show right here in downtown Napa. There's a beautiful walk along the riverfront. Awesome bistros and cafe entertainment. Right across the river is the wine train. So we're going to get started right about now. And welcome to another edition of Ion Travel. Napa Valley Wine Train came into existence in 1989. September 16th was the very first day that the train went out on its lunch run and it was really actually kind of a historic moment for the train and the train staff and the train's owners. What had happened was these train tracks had actually been in the valley since about 1864 and had been the prime transportation corridor for literally decades. And of course, the 20s, railroading as a passenger activity when the car became available started to lose its appeal, and passenger travel up and down the Napa Valley essentially stopped. In the 70s, we lost our freight service, and the railroad tracks were in peril of not only becoming abandoned, but of being ripped up and lost. So these people got together, and they decided that what they were going to do was find an opportunity for the tracks that would actually make money and keep these tracks active and alive. And they put together a group of investors. And one of those main investors that came in was Vincent D. Domenico. And you might know his name from Golden Grain, Rice Aroni. He was the visionary, the genius behind Rice Aroni in San Francisco. So Vincent had sold his company in the 80s, I believe it was, and came in as the prime investor in the Napa Valley wine train. And it was really his vision that put the train on the tracks in its, um, in its form that it is today. These amazing culinary kitchens, the three kitchens on board, the emphasis on wine, and this little quick journey through the storied vineyards of Napa County. We run nine cars and two engines on point. Eight of those nine cars are 1915 to 1917 Pullmans. The very first, and when I say the very first, I mean the very first 20, all steel body rail cars ever made in the United States by Pullman. These are 80 tons a piece and they're appropriately called heavyweights. Now we have some interesting history with these cars. They were first sold to Union Pacific and on those cars, a couple of them, you can see the original red windows that were installed in 1915 with the Union Pacific logo in them. Very historic and very lucky that they were covered with wood because we found them when we were refurbishing the cars. So the 1915 to 1917 Pullmans, the heavyweights, were the height of the technological advance for that day's um, technology. Before that, they were wood and they had oil lamps in them and when they would get into accidents, they'd telescope and they'd catch on fire and the casualty rate was very high. Well, the all steel body construction, these heavyweights, of course, didn't have that problem. So not only all steel, but also the very first electrical cars. It's not like a museum, a rail museum, where you pay your $12 or your, your nominal fee and you go in and you get to see what actually used to be, but here, you get to use it and touch it and be a part of it, just like probably your grandparents were. 